ladies and gentlemen, Skits M. Jones here, coming to you live from me casa in an undisclosed location. And tonight, we are talking about the 17th. Grand Sports Arena, Hoffman Estates. It's our first time there. It's going to be a big show. Every single title is on the line. <sighs> We've got the TV title. Justin James, the most defending champion in POW today. And he is taking on former world champion, former regional champion, former tag champion, the lost soul, Chris Cairo. Now, Cairo won his shot in an over-the-top rope battle royal. He's lost the TV titles. He lost his recent match for the TV titles. It was a two-on-one assault. Happy and homeless Chris Cairo and Cousin Eddie taking on Logan Scott of Picture Perfect, who was all by his lonesome. But somehow, the rising star pulled off the win. What does Chris Cairo do now? Well, if anyone, anyone on the Powell roster could beat Justin James, I have no doubt that that person is Chris Cairo, but this raises a lot of questions. Cairo wins. What does it mean for the tag team of Happy and Homeless? If Cairo wins, what does Justin James do next? Well, I don't know the answer to that, but I'm looking forward to finding out. Because while I think Justin James has been an outstanding champion... I think his time is up. My prediction, Chris Cairo. Now, we've got the regional title. Trevor Blanchard, the king of POW. He won the title at Crowning of the Champ. Who's he going to face? He recently went against Justin James, trying to get a third accolade, trying to get the TV title, but he lost. Now what does he do? He defends the regional title. I don't know who it's going to be against. I've heard rumblings, but one thing I know for sure, it's going to be a hell of a match. <sighs> Eric Freedom, Diamond Steel, they're taking on Psychotic Rage. Now, Eric Freedom and Jimmy Blaze have no shortage of history, have no love lost for each other. Former tag partners, they've been in the business together a long time. Diamond Steel. Well, Diamond Steel and Eric are coming off a big loss to the Sinmates, who will now be challenging for the tag team titles, but I'll get back to that in a second. Eric Freedom and Diamond Steel. I don't like Eric Freedom. Everyone knows it. I don't like Jimmy Blaze. Everyone knows it. So who do I pick? Who do I predict for this matchup? Well, I don't like either team, but right now, Psychotic Rage, they need this win. It appears they've lost their war against noise, booze, and tattoos. So if they're going to come out swinging and look to the future, they need to beat Eric Freedom and Diamond Steel. My prediction, reluctantly, Psychotic Rage. Now. I mentioned the tag title belts. Here it is. Picture Perfect versus the Sinmates. Now the Sinmates, they haven't been very lucky lately. The Hellfire Symphony has not been very lucky lately. Picture Perfect, on the other hand, like I said, Logan Scott single-handedly dispatched Happy and Homeless to retain the tag titles. Well... If the Sinmates are going to make a statement after they've booted their former ally, the Great Malachi, this is the way to do it. Win the tag titles again and defend them as champions on the road to Wrestle Rage. I like Picture Perfect. I like Logan Scott. I don't like his attitude. I don't like his demeanor. I don't like the way he treats people, but... He has proven that he has what it takes to move to that next level. But I think the Sinmates are overdue. My prediction, new tag champions, the Sinmates. Of course, we've got the world title. Rex Hart 
against Kanoa. Now, Kanoa has been on the verge. He has been on the edge of the main event scene for years now. He took a step backwards, losing the regional title at Crowning of the Champ, but he's been aligning himself with Brandon Bishop, who has been an outstanding world champion in the past. You know Kanoa has picked up a few pointers. You know Kanoa has been scouting Rex Hart. This could be the step Kanoa needs to go into Wrestle Rage as our new world champion. But Rex Hart has proven that he's big, he's mean, he's bad, he's vicious, he is everything that a world champion needs to be. My prediction on this one, I'm giving it to Rex Hart, but I don't think we've seen the end of this. I think, despite the fact that Rex Hart has said you get one shot and one shot only, I think is going to take him to the limit. And the fans, the company, the wrestlers, the boys in the back, everyone involved will demand more. Rex Hart's going to retain, but this ain't the end of it. There will be a pile battle royal. The winner will get a shot at the regional title at Wrestle Rage. Of course, I can't talk enough about Wrestle Rage. Demolition, Axe, and Smash will be going for the tag team titles against whoever the tag champs happen to be. Of course, we've got Serena recently added. We've got Mr. Anderson, who for all we know by that point might be the TNA world champion. Wouldn't that be a coup? We've got the franchise Shane Douglas, Tracy Brooks. More to be added. More surprises to come. Wrestle Rage, November. Look forward to it. I'm out of time. Those are my predictions. I will see you at the show.